Debreceni Egyetem Innovációs Központjában a Visegrádi Együttműködés 2022-es Magyar Elnökségének V4 Transformation Program záró eseményeként rendezték meg az önvezető járművekkel kapcsolatos, alkalmazott egyetemi kutatások eredményeit bemutató versenyt. Az eseményen a házigazda Debreceni Egyetem mellett a Prágai Műszaki Egyetem és a Szlovák Robotech Vision csapata vett részt. A rendezvényen két pályát alakítottak ki a kísérleti járművek számára. A földszinten a cél a kanyarokkal nehezített versenypálya minél gyorsabb teljesítése volt, természetesen a falnak ütközés elkerülésével. Az emeleten már nehezebb feladat várt a résztvevőkre. Egy akadályokkal nehezített szobában kellett a sugárveszélyre figyelmeztető táblákat érzékelni és helyüket meghatározni. A zsűri által meghatározott hat feladatból hármat kellett a csapatoknak kiválasztani, és ezek végrehajtását pontozták a szakemberek. A magyar csapatot a Debreceni Egyetem informatikai kar adattudományi és vizualizációs tanszéke segítette a feladatra felkészülésben. A nagymúltú felsőoktatási intézményben mind a szükséges szuperszámítógéppel is támogatott számítástechnikai képesség, mind a megfelelő gyakorlópályák segítik a különleges járművek fejlesztését és tesztelését. A cseh csapat specialitása a hálózatközpontú megközelítés. A változó körülményekhez alkalmazkodva a fedélzeti szenzorokkal felszerelt járműveik akár műholdas helyzet meghatározás nélkül is képesek navigálni a számukra kijelölt területen. I'm here with my uh, team from Czech Technical University. Uh, we are participating in uh, Center for Robotics and Autonomous Systems. And uh, we are here to deploy our robotics system. We are working for a couple of years. We are using four-wheel uh, vehicle. That is a standard platform for outdoor uh, field deployments. But our uniqueness is in developed our sensoric system uh, that we share across our other platforms. And uh, the approach we uh, choose for this uh, competition is that we adjust our main autonomous exploration framework to deal with the particular uh, scenarios. So uh, we are working on the, on the field deployments uh, and, and the robots that uh, operates in uh, challenging environments. Uh, we mostly targeting to outdoor challenging environments uh, with GPS, but also without the GPS because we have some previous experience uh, from underground and uh, subterranean environments. And we also see challenges in uh, sensing for the system that are not active uh, with uh, low emissions. And uh, we also say uh, future challenges in uh, cooperation and uh, sharing the in information across the platforms. A cseh csapat vezetője is hangsúlyozta, a jövő védelmi képességek egyik fontos területe lesz a megbízhatóan működő autonóm vezérlés. So uh, as uh, other teams are also participating here, we see uh, various uh, complementary uh, skills, and uh, we like to cooperate in uh, future scenarios. Uh, we see that uh, the team from the University of the Person is working on uh, power processing and we believe that uh, increasing the speed of the robots, especially in uh, challenging environments, needs uh, fast processing and we see there is the opportunity to work on FPGAs and uh, GPU uh, computation. But we also see that uh, this uh, low emission uh, sensoring system is one of the necessity for uh, future even including the defense uh, technologies. This is the first time we are in uh, Debrecen and we really enjoy. Uh, we enjoy the city, we enjoy the facility and we are really appreciate the organization which is, which is uh, super nice and actually this facility is also amazing. A szlovák Robotech Vision csapata a külső területeken használható lánctalpas platform mellett egy kifejezetten erre a versenyre tervezett beltéri járművel érkezett Debrecenbe. We 
are a robotics company and we uh, develop and design autonomous navigation algorithms of, of universally that they are applicable for universal robotic platforms such as differential or double Ackermann uh, chases and so on. As a, the, we are uh, a company developing these autonomous navigation algorithms. Uh, we have developed several of them now, mostly outdoor, but also working on indoor navigation algorithms. And uh, we think that uh, we, uh, the unique thing we do is to, that we can combine uh, many data from different sensors like uh, cameras or uh, laser scanners, also three-dimensional lasers. And also we use uh, methods of, of artificial intelligence for processing this data. So we are able to not only recognize but classify the obstacles in front of the robot. And uh, also we can we use this uh, artificial intelligence for path planning or path finding for the robot. Uh, so we, uh, we can cooperate in different fields because we have different uh, uh, navigation algorithms and uh, we can uh, cooperate in the field of agriculture for example but also in the military field and uh, uh, what are we now searching for is uh, a bigger or a more robust uh, uh, vehicle that um, we can apply our algorithms on. We, we did feel well, thank you, and our takeaways are uh, that it was uh, very good to meet other teams and to uh, uh, talk with them about what are they uh, working on and uh, what are they uh, results and uh, also we discussed about the possibly, possibility of uh, cooperation in the future so if we are here on the contest so on in military field so uh, we think that it would be great to cooperate together also in these types of pro pro projects. Természetesen nem hiányozhatott a pályákról a rendezvény házigazdája, a Debreceni Egyetem informatikai kar adattudományi és vizualizációs tanszékének különleges járművesem. We have an autonomous vehicle lab, which is founded half a year before, and we have to start it to modeling, virtualization and simulation of the autonomous vehicles and build the real uh, autonomous vehicle in the next months. Now we are we are we are preparing to somehow uh, measuring uh, uh, how can behave uh, in specific situations these these autonomous vehicles and try to figure out which situations are the most challenged and uh, try a solution which can help to build a more uh, stabilized uh, software and hardware solution. So it's cover not just the software part, but also we are designing and creating specific sensor components and sensor solutions. Yep, we are working on regular uh, remote control card platform in different sizes. We are, particularly, we are working now 1 to 16 and 1 to 10 sized. Uh, this is uh, quite enough room to build small sensors and exit it with everything. And, and of course the, the biggest one is the real car which is one to one size. Yep. Uh, yep, we, are, we, are, we are equipped with specific sensors which has not existed before. We can measure not just the environment but the, the chases. So we have, we have chases sensors which can control and signals back to the, to the uh, machine learning center that what will be happen and what's happening right now. So like speed and turning left, turning right. I can, many tasks which, is, which is, could be challenged where we can meet it to each other. One of them is just sensor development with specific uh, reasons. Some, other, some fields it's not accept some kind of sensors, so this is one of the challenge. The other one we are can working together with uh, the, you know, the computing uh, environment. It's also challenging because, because we have to serve the power 
and of course we have to serve the computing demand requirements. This is not easy because we have limited spaces. So we can work on this also. And maybe the communication platform is also uh, very essential because sometimes we need uh, the car support from five way distance. So we can maybe attach a very high performance computing, distribute the task and send it the information back to not just one car, but many of cars at the same moment.